So this book is called Seek a Rose. It is a folktale from Alaska. It's kind of like Paul Bunyan, John Henry a little bit. So I hope you guys like it. So Seek a Rose. Seek a Rose was a big old gal with hair the color of flame. She was wild and wary, just a little bit scary. Not an inch of her was tame. Born on a mountain near Sika Sound, Rose grew up strong and tall. She climbed spruce trees to see the sky before she could even crawl. Rose was raised up grander than the average child. She skied avalanche shoots for fun, and when her vegetables needed more sunlight, well, Rose lassoed the sun. Each summer, Rose looked for schools of fish at the, great start, at the start of the Great Salmon Run. She'd swim upstream against the, be the best. The most of the time, she won. But one spring in the misty forest, instead of worrying about the cold, Rose got concerned just sitting around because her toes were starting to mold. Rose was wild but stuck in a rut. Like a grizzly pacing a cage, her life needed new adventures. It was time to turn the page. Cash money had been hard to come by. Rose's poke was mighty flat, but gnome, it was told, was full of gold. Rose cried, I'll try my hand at that. No northbound steamer was running that day, but Rose spied a whale swimming out in the bay. She grabbed that mammal and hung on real tight. The whale headed north and swam all night. Next morning, Rose spied the beaches of Nome. She yelled, Yeehaw! and dug her heels home. That whale commenced rolling, flip-flopping and bucking. He got so rambunctious, Rose got quite a duckin'. The rush was on. The beaches were packed, full of miners panning for gold. Elbow to elbow, they fought for their share. Men brash and burly and bold. Rose got an outfit, shovel and pick, but the crowds near Nome made her itch. With her pack on her back, she headed east in hopes of striking it rich. She crisscrossed the country, breaking new trail, the paths the caribou walk now over tundra and shale. Her diggings for nuggets left ponds and lakes, homes for swans and cranes, ducklings and drakes. She shoveled a trench for what the earth could give her. Now they call that waterway the Yukon River. <clears throat> while Rose played, while Rose paid Patty Cat, Pat a cake, and panned the gold, she piled up mountains. Even Denali, we're told.
With gold teeth pulled from Yukon's mouth, Rose wanted adventure before she traveled south. The Alaska sweepstakes was about to be run. Now that sounded like a sled full of fun. Huskies were hard to come by, but Rose needed a team. So she harnessed up grizzlies and ten snarling wolverines. Nobody could pass Rose when her team took the lead. That bunch made up in meanness when they were lacking in speed. Hike up, Brownie, Rose hollered to her surly lead bear. Yodele, hee-hoo, bear, as they started to soar. They flew so high, they flew so fast, they left the earth and split the sky. Today in the north, Rose's legend lives on in the mountains before the snow is gone. See her braids in the rivers that flow and bend. Hear her yodelay hee hoo in the howl of the wind. You can see her still on clear winter nights dancing across the sky in the northern lights. Look, a ghostly team of ten wolverines and a yellow grizzly that blows, driven by Alaska's pride and joy, the gal known as Sika Rose. And then this last page is a picture of Alaska, and it shows Sika Rose's path. So she started down here in Sika, then she travels the whale, and then she comes up and crisscrosses around Alaska. Pretty cool way to explain how Alaska got some of its landforms and the northern lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a good day.